All right. So uh, we're gonna be looking at hacking the uh, NES Classic. Um, it, here, I'll show you on the. Uh, it can run any of these mappers. So uh, the NROM MMC One, UX ROM, CN ROM, MMC Three, MMC Five. AX ROM, MMC2, and MMC4. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't do MMC. It doesn't do like some of the, like the weirder mappers, like the Sunsoft mapper, which is Mapper 69, and a few different ones. But you should be able to get like a good majority of games on it. Um, so let me just start from the beginning. I, I I wanted to start the stream an hour ago, but I had to uh, change a few things around and get a USB driver. Uh, installed so this is the uh, where you can find information it's also in the title it's a reddit uh, it's a reddit post you turn the volume down the music on all right so you go here you download uh, this this top uh, download link uh, when the the original uh, poster when the op posted the original one it had uh, files to install a DLL and that uh, f flagged Windows Defender but this new his new version that he posted should work fine without any kind of flags uh, where I had trouble actually was um, was actually getting uh, the my computer to recognize this as a USB device now there is uh, he does include uh, once you download this this file what you'll see is uh, is in this folder and uh, under drivers, you can right click on this one to hit install. But for some reason that, that uh, didn't work for me. Uh, so I actually ended up installing uh, Zadig, which I'll post in here, which is uh, basically what he's using. He's just repackaging it. Uh, so you can find that file here. And uh, what you wanna do is you want to, uh, hold on, let me move my this chat over here. What you want to do is uh, you can plug it in uh, via USB to your computer and HDMI to your uh, television. And you want to hold reset and then hold power until you hear the USB being recognized. Actually, let me uh, just make sure it's getting a fresh start. You want to make sure the power is off on the device. You can plug it in. Hold reset and then hit power. There we go. So from there, uh, Zadig should recognize it as an unknown device, and then you just hit install for the Win USB. Um, so let's open up the program. I'm not sure about FDS, Antoine. So this is the program. Um, so what you do is you can actually hide the original 30 games. Or you can include them. Uh, if, you, if you actually hide the original games here and then you can add them back, you'll actually be able to fit more games on there. Um, so let me just show you. The very first time that you use this program, it's going to have to dump the kernel from your device and uh, rewrite it to the device to test it out. Uh, from there, you can add games by simply clicking this bottom left and going to wherever you have ROMs. So we'll, we'll add RC Program here. And then once you have RC Program or whatever your ROM is, you can add your own art or you can Google it and then you just double click on the Google. So, uh, just to show you that this works, uh, we'll hide the original and we will only add RC program. And you just hit the bottom right, the up selected game to mini, it, NES mini. So 
So it rewrites the kernel and then puts it, uploads it to the device. Your power light should not be on during this. So it says done, uh, wait until the power LED goes out. So it's already out. So I can just power cycle it here. There we go. I haven't muted uh, the Nintendo sound muted, muted so it doesn't my VOD doesn't get flagged. No, I'm playing off a uh, capture, which has like a little bit of a delay. But it works great so far. I'm gonna totally uh, change, you know, what games I have on there. I, I thought it was, you know, funny to include the, uh, the non-Mike Tyson's punch out. And of course it's for licensing. Uh, I want both Zeldas. I want all the Mega Man. So. I haven't uh, compiled a, a folder of ROMs you can fit, but you can fit about 80, 60 to 80, depending on how you set it up and how big the file, how big the image that you attach to the to the ROM is. <clears throat> Does anybody have any questions, or uh, is there any? games you'd like me to try let me uh, post the uh, the supported mappers let me post everything I have so far I'm not sure what games. I tried adding the uh, gimmick ROM that I have uh, because it's a it's Mapper 69. But I have I have a, a Splatterhouse game I want to try actually. Uh, so we'll add the original 30 back. I have a Splatterhouse uh, translation that's been converted over to MMC5, I believe. So we should see if that works. Oh yeah, we got a power cycle, so we have to turn it off. We have to put it in the FEL mode. So hold reset. Hit power. And then it automatically starts. Yeah, the, they're pretty quick. When this originally came out, I mean, it was hacked within like two days, I believe. Um, but the information on how to really do it only came out within like the last two days, or I don't know, three or four days ago. And then uh, a Russian, uh, a Russian hacker uh, wrote a long instruction list on how to do it, and that was using like Linux code and Linux. Uh, you had to know, you know, how to use Linux. And then somebody wrapped all of uh, that information into the shell. Alright, so it says, wait the power LED comes out. It did. So we'll just power cycle it.
Let's see if this works. I don't think it will. Nope. Right, what else did we add? We added Tetris as well. That's not... I can't believe Tetris isn't on here. Normally. Dude, I got a new modem today, and because I've been trying to fix my drop frames issue, and it's still persisting. Dropped 1,619 frames. I hate it. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Might even try to uh, switch black back to uh, XSplit. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah, uh, Thudflip said to have them check the node bridge or something like that, because <laughs> he has the same issue. The download's fine, it's just a consistent upload that's uh, giving me issues. I was thinking maybe we could check out the uh, Ultra HDMI for the Nintendo as well. If you guys want to check that out. Uh, I've pinged my router and I don't drop any packets. I've tried that just doing it in a command line in DOS. Let me grab the uh, the Ultra HDMI uh, Nintendo thing. 